Chintu ji, I have to start by telling you, I finished the book in one go. Wow. I started in the morning and I finished it in the evening. It's just such an enjoyable read. I literally cover to cover in the day. Thank you, Rajiv. I also want to tell you this, that normally I'm always on a show with you, re-release of a film. This is the first time we're actually meeting with something else. And For that's a book, that's true. The interesting part is that it's the book. And uh, I listen, autobiography, so right. I have to be even... Um, thank you very much for calling me to talk no, to you. Thank you. I have to say, you know, it's remarkable how honest you are in the book. From every... Well, it's meant to be. Yeah, Why people yeah. make such a big issue of it? You're supposed to... You know, don't write an autobiography. True. You're but you know, we've be... seen enough people who write selective, you know, who, who seem to have selective memories. You've been completely honest. Whether it's your brattish, arrogant attitude uh, after the success of... Bobby at 21, whether it's the depression you suffered after the failure of Kars, um, how you blamed your marriage, you blamed your wife for your waning success, um, your father Raj Kapoor's relationships with two of his actresses, your shortcomings um, as, a, as a parent, as a husband, your professional skirmishes, whether with uh, Salim Javed, uh, with Amitabh Bachchan, your illogical dislike of Rajesh Khanna, it's incredible. You, you know, forgot the award. <laughs> the award, buying the award, of course, of course, so much is. See, been said uh, it's no fun unless and until you don't really part with what you've really gone through. True. And chopani ki koi baat nahi, otherwise why write a book? And uh, to be honest, all that you what you have mentioned, I have no regrets. I have, I, have, I don't have any grudges. Mm. I hope they don't hold any grudges against me. So if that said was so. that was what I was going to ask you. You know, you have written and said everything in a spirit that that is, you know, in the right spirit. Were you ever concerned that it would not be received perhaps in the same spirit? I don't think so because there was never an outcome or an outburst after that. Mm. Uh, this is an in incidental what I'm talking about and and these are the memories which I've had which I impromptu parted with. And there are several more in mm. my mind which I didn't part with. After all, it's a human brain. Correct. How much more can you talk with your, your co-writer? So now I'm, I remember more incidents that can come into book, you know, and uh, but alas, it's now published. Perhaps maybe part Absolutely. two or something. Update, updated yeah, yeah, in a couple yeah. of years. Yeah. So there are a lot of other squabbles, a lot of skirmishes, a lot of you know disputes, arguments, debates, a lot of these kind of things happening with a lot of people. I remember now the female co-star also I got into a little bit of a spat with. So all that will perhaps might come if it all has to be done. But having said that, I've enjoyed all this and mm. I've got no grudges against anybody. Mm. Not, I hope they don't have that. And uh, I think it was very important to document uh, my life yeah. as my journey. Mm. My journey is, uh, you know, for, I'll tell you why this book has been written. Yeah. Let's start it in another way. I want to, uh, uh, th there is a certain kind of perception amongst people in the world that there's a lot of nepotism in our industry. True. You know, uh, star son or star daughters they have it very, very easy. easy right. I've said this on every platform, and I've tried to say it in this book. I said, contrary to the fact, we go through as many as many problems as any of my contemporaries have, or probably even more, it's because not we the carry a lot of baggage. Of struggle, yeah, right? we kind of kind of carry more baggage. Mm. Now I'm talking first person myself. Mm. Originally, do you know? I personally think Raj Kapoor is a star son. Yeah. Nutan is a star daughter. Mm. So is Tanuja a star daughter. Mm. But were they because of Shobhna Samarth? Was Raj Kapoor there because of Prithvi Raj Kapoor? Mm. I want to ask, am I still existing because of Raj Kapoor? Mm. Or Ranbir is working because of uh, me? Right. No, it's not the case. Perhaps you have it easy because you get uh, an easy release. Mm. People would like to see how the son or daughter is of a star. Whom they have. That's why there's more baggage to it. Thereafter, you probably have it a good. Uh, you have a good uh, opening into the, uh, into the. Uh, you have an introduction in the films, but there on you're on your own. Right. Like my journey, my my troubles, my uh, uh, what should I say? Um, uh, my struggles started much later in life after my release. Right. So I had to say this in my book. Mm. Contrary to the belief that people have, that's very easy. I think it's very difficult. And that was the purpose, the prime purpose. Of exactly doing the to book. write the book. Right. Right. So I hope I get across the people whom I'm, you know, I'm trying to say this to. Now, the book, of course, is called Khullam Khulla, Jee. which is, of course, named after one of your very popular songs. Um, and in that spirit, you've really shared your life very candidly. But were there areas that were just no-go? Were there just... Like, I, I'm asking you. Were, oh. there, were there any areas that, were, that you just didn't want to go down? Um, did you deliberately hold some things no. back? Well, why would I? Like I said, perhaps if I remember more, I would put them in. Sure. Uh, so it's only, it's only a lack of memory at that time. See, if you're trying to say, if I've tried to uh, uh, hide my scandals, or I've, I've, uh. I've never be, had a scandalous life, as right. you know. Never did anything sensational mm. to cause a sensation or anything. So I've had a very, you know, kind of a placid kind of a life. And in that placid life, whatever ripples that I made, I've tried to come across. 
you know what comes through in the book very clearly and repeatedly is that you take great pride in the work that you've done um you're very committed to your job to this date you're also very generous and very willing to share your success with your colleagues be it your co-stars be it your directors your music directors your lyricists i mean it's a very generous uh, it's uh, teamwork uh, rajiv i mean the kind of music they i've had in my films my co-artists mm. my heroines my music directors like i said earlier and of course the director it's been a team work and i uh, honestly i am a, a very committed uh, sincere worker yeah sometimes films may have worked sometimes mostly they have not worked you know <laughs> we do make our own turkeys but um i've enjoyed working and let me put it this way the yeah. god has given me a job and he pays me for it right and that's you know, what also comes through is genuine hurt when that generosity and that grace is not extended by others you know the, the, an example being amitabh bachchan who you've said that you no, felt no, no, i don't i hope people are not misconstruing this mm. someone asked me ki what do you feel about amitabh bachchan i said amitabh bachchan was the greatest actor that we've had right the very fact that his image and his act and he was such a great actor that you know if you ran a 100 meter race there was always a 50 meter handicap to amitabh bachchan because right. obviously roles were written for him you know everything pre uh, the writers the director had placed him yeah. you living in a fool's paradise if you think you want to have a role as good as amitabh bachchan mm. so i said um, all of us actors during our times in 70s we worked in the films knowing right. that he has a better role sure right so uh, i guess we have also been those small rungs in his uh, ladder yeah, no, of you're success right. you're right that's very right because if you see in a generation before uh, us mm. uh, You know all the actors, yeah. Shami Kapoor, Dharm, uh, not Dharm Ji, sorry, uh, Ashok Kumar, mm. Dilip Kumar, Raj Kapoor, Devanand. None of them helped each other to you know build success. Or right. in the current generation, like these Khans right. or Akshay or Ajay or Avi, right? They're not working together. <coughs> They're not working together. Mm. But Amit Ji, being such a powerful actor and such a popular actor, mm. we always worked with them because that was the I guess the uh, the way the things were, films were being made. So that in that reference, I mentioned that. Right. Um. You know, you are not only colleagues and friends. You are also actually related by extended Absolutely. family. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe. Um. Uh. During kabi kabi, uh, we're not very friendly, but that was the association in the film also. But yeah. We got uh, with all. Of course, our our distance very uh, gracefully. We we led our friendship, and he's been a great actor, great co-worker, great uh, colleague of mine, and now of course he's a relative. Right. You know, you managed to chart your own course as primarily a romantic hero yep. at a time when Amitabh Bachchan and action movies was what Whoa. people wanted to Bizarre, watch. Man. That's Bizarre. all they wanted to watch. You, know. uh, you built your career despite your naysayers, mm -hmm. uh, despite critics writing you off, even filmmakers, like you said in the book, Manmohan Desai used to make a joke about yeah. your height, uh, dismissing you. Was there ever a sense of envy at the massive success that Amitabh Bachchan or before him Rajesh Khanna enjoyed? Did you ever feel that? You didn't get your due in your prime. <coughs> no. Kaka ji, though I don't remember because that's perhaps before my time. Mm. But Amit ji, yes, we both did stardom. I think the same year, yeah, 1973. Yeah. And um, you know, I've seen him at his peak. Yeah. When he was, uh, he just resumed work after Kuli. Right. And uh, my God, it's it's it, it you know it, I, I can't explain to you that visual mm. when he uh, when he used to come out of a stent and he used to give the shot with Puneet Sir or Kadir Khan Sir that. He used to be hitting them, and there used to be one lag of people just rooting for him, right. just rooting for him. Mm. I've seen that kind of, you know, adulation of his. Mm. So um, uh, I, you see, my my his his image has been different. My image has been different. Like you said, uh, I probably got into the wrong time. That I came in when uh, the whole uh, trend had changed in uh, the, in films. The angry man was uh, most sought after. The uh, action era had started. Mm. and perhaps no one was very keen seeing you know musicals and romantic films which are not the call those days right so i actually survived that area i was battling the cyclone the hurricanes called dharmender right. amitabh bachchan vinod khanna who, all all of them action heroes and yeah. you know I, my kind of uh, uh, films had very few uh, takers mm. but nonetheless i survived with the odd ones in there which you kept me going no, you, which you, yeah. kept me going my um, Uh, solo films uh, where you know I used to be working and and then they used to do very well because the music was very good. That's why I always credit my music directors of my films as well. So I survived that onslaught. Mm. I went through. Mm.
and now when things have gone the other way, the trend has changed. I've ceased to be a hero. Right. So now it's a romantic year. That's a very easy for all of them. But yeah. I've seen it all. Like I said, I, always, I was always at the wrong time. I was introduced in the wrong time. I retired at the wrong time. Were you ever envious of that kind of success? I have. Is my success anything wrong? No, it's massive. I've had the opportunity to write a book. True. I can say it's but my you know, journey. In, in retrospect, it's a great career. But at that time, did you ever feel, because you've always said you were never not confident, but you were always very confident about your talent. Um, that was never in question. You were never uh, overawed by working with other actors. Did you ever feel shortchanged? Did you feel you didn't get your due in your no. prime? See, people say have this opinion about That's true. me. It's, I it's don't. The, I don't know why I don't. You, they say that, you know, you're very uh, people underrated. Tend to be underrated as an act. I, no, I don't think so. I, mm. I think I'm pretty comfortable. I've done my work. Perhaps uh, when you, in retrospect, they will be, whenever they will see my work, they'll know what I mean. But I've done some. You see, why don't you understand? In the first 25 years of my career, I only sang songs. Right. I only romanced the hero and wore those jerseys. I'm repeating myself all all the time. There's also the this great thing. objectivity. You know, now yeah. is the time yeah. to work because I get character characters right now to play now. Mm. I've never had this opportunity, so that's I'm acting now. now true. So and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Mm. Unfortunately, I made a film that was last, and out of choice, I have not taken a film after Kapoor and Sons because yeah. I've uh, created a Frankenstein myself. I've created a monster for myself because I want every film, every film's role to be as good as that. Now I have come to understand that now you can't get every film or any film that you'll hear, they'll be as strong as all as that. So I guess these are the things which I'm, I get upset about. When you it's say shortcomings are, these are the, I feel shortchanged. That you're right, you know, it's once in a way, once in a while you probably get a role which you didn't want to do, like Agnipath also, right. which I did not want to do actually. But you did it very yes. well. Yeah, and I, I did a, 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 like in Kapoor and Sons was a very difficult film without any reference. I, you know, that for me also was very pretty difficult. So I guess that's the only place I, you know, I feel I'm, you know, I feel that I'm not really getting what I should. In a sense, do you feel like life has come a full circle in terms of really? It's only Mr. Bachchan and you who are, you know, of that time, of the 70s and 80s, who are still working. God is great. I mean, like you know, uh, uh, f very few roles are written for true. Uh, you know, our actors our age, and in that also you have to be lucky to get, you know. The uh, best parts, the, yeah. Uh, whatever part is there to do or whatever there is. Mm. So that's why I'm very thankful also. Uh, no complaints. Sure. And uh, keeps me busy. And like I said, this is the time to prove myself as an actor. Mm. Enough of those jerseys and singing songs and running around in Switzerland and Kashmir and have you, whatever. <laughs> See, it's this great objectivity. It's the fact that you're able to look back at it, laugh at it, and, and be completely you know, critical and objective of it. That is the beauty of this book. You've said in the book, uh, Chintuji, that for you, acting is about putting in effort beautiful. to show effortlessness. These are not it's my beautiful. words. You said B.R. Chopra, told, Chopra you that. told me that. And it's something you've tried to live uh, by. Yeah. It's true also of your son, isn't it? Um, in fact, I feel like although Ranbir and you are completely different actors, that's the one thing that's true in both of you that, that you have in common. The acting is invisible. You can't see the acting. I will not agree with you there. Um, you know, when Ranbir completed his uh, studies at the School of Visual Arts, mm. which, he, which he didn't graduate actually, but he went for that. He, then he said, I'm not getting anywhere, so I want to now do a course with uh, Lee Strasberg right. Theatre Institute. Now, Lee you Strasberg Theatre Institute that. is diametrically opposite the style of acting Spontaneity. which I believe in. Correct. That's a method way. Yeah. So I said to him, he said, do you know what you're, you're asking for? He said, yeah, I know. I said, fair enough. You must make your own choice. Mm. So I said, you must make your choice of what you're doing, which kind of, how you want to portray yourself as an artist. Mm. So he did that course. And now what I see very objectively is that Ranbir is taking the best of both the worlds. Okay. He knows where he has to be, what, and he has chosen. So I guess that uh, coaching has come very hand handy. Right. Today's times, I feel most of the young youngsters I meet, they all think that going to Lee Strasberg Institute is going to is the last word that you got the license to act. Correct, correct. I don't think it's right. I think I must uh, bring this to light that you know that's a different school. I respect all schools sure. of acting. I have no regrets about that. But that's a different way, and I don't think today really any a lot of many are following the method style. Mm. People are becoming more natural, more spontaneous. That's what today's films are all about. Right. Today's characters are all about. Correct. So. Coming back to Ranbir, I said he's, he's, he struck the right balance between both the schools. And uh, I see that because I can make out where he is doing that. And I think it's pretty good. It's better than what I thought. The book is such a vivid portrait of a very different time in the film industry. It almost makes you nostalgic for the time when, you know, movie stars behaved 
larger than life. They were bratish. They were arrogant. They wore their heart on their sleeves. Have you read the read the Shami Kapoor bit? I I I have to say one of my one of my most one of the most amusing. You know what I'm doing? I must tell you this. Uh, uh, you know, you read it. Obviously, you have your own imagination. True. You see, I am planning, or rather, they are forcing me to do this. I've done two rehearsals. Uh huh. I'm going to do a. I'm going to enact my autobiography lovely, on stage. Lovely. I'm going to do it on stage because it really it's just going, it's just going to be for very few corporate shows. Okay. Well, if I don't enact certain things, people will not really understand, understand it so well. Sure, sure. That Shami Kapoor thing. Correct. That you tell know, us, how, tell, tell us the. You know the. I mean now you know how Shami Uncle was dynamic. Right. This is after Geeta Auntie's death and before he got married to Neera Auntie. Right. So in those days he he was obviously a he was a widower mm. and uh, he was a huge star man. Yeah. Shami Kapoor was you know. the star and every 14 december my dad mum used to have a party for mm. his dad's birthday and we used to be all there and obviously shami kapoor being our very favorite uncle also he used to come late first of all he used to make an entry right uh, and then uh, i would not like take names of the lovely ladies that used to be around not only of films but otherwise also right. and we used to try to impress somebody and that other person was not giving him enough lift he would go and smash a glass right. and you know have his hand beating all the women went you know that shami this that and my my mother would get upset and we kids were you know also getting upset ke shami ko bune kaat diya apna haath right. my father would get angry ye har saal apna haath kyu kaatte rehta hai mere patte pe <laughs> then he then he would want to go and put his hand into the electric meter just to gain sympathy from the women and attention right. just to attract attention that's all <laughs> So until I don't do this, you know, <laughs> you can't really put it through. Correct. So you know, these are kind of memories uh, that are of my childhood. You see, that's why this book makes a difference because uh, obviously every every actor can write a book, but you no, know, my 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 rainbow starts at the age of two. Till True. now, yeah. and I've got stories of films. Of generations born, of actors yeah, as well. All along, you know, my grandfather, father, uncles, maternal, paternal, brothers, True. sisters, nieces, son. True. All of them into the same business. True. And then people ask me, which which acting school have you studied? I said, acting school. It's this is the University of Kapoor. Yeah, right. I go into the. So anyway, um, I I I I got a lot of stories. What are you reading in there? Are uh, part of it. Part of it I've forgotten also. You know, some details are not there, and then. There are such great incidents, you know. The, I feel like today's generation is denied that kind of stars. You know, the kind of stars who, I mean, there's this amusing incident when Sanjay Dutt, upset over this gossip that you were having something to do with an actress that he was dating, lands up at Neetu's house to confront you, and then Neetu has to um, pacify him yeah. and tell him, "Don't worry." This I never knew. This Gulshan drove to me this <laughs> because Gulshan said we were all the we were the havaldars of uh, Sanjay Dutt, and we laugh it off now. You know, it was such a joke. You know what? <laughs> Or Sanjay Khan throwing that glass at you during a ah uh, well we all we all have those are I mean do you feel like today's stars just just don't misbehave they're not they're not today's fun enough bodyguards yeah they Correct. walk into places like nobody dare do anything right. they got six guys behind you you know yeah. yeah they got bodyguards they got and they have to wear glasses in the night so you know the, the glare does strike them <laughs> those days were different man yeah you know when you speak of your wife neetu you describe it as a long and loving marriage filled with ups and downs you give her credit for putting up with your moods um for for mustering up so much patience all these years earlier this week you celebrated your 37th wedding anniversary you said that there was one year when you all didn't even celebrate because you all weren't talking to each other it's happened very often in our even our professional life before we married there was a song in a film called jhoota kahega जीवन के हर मोड़ पर डांस मास्टर्स असिस्टेंट और दैमरा मैन यू नो एंड इवन द डायरेक्टर वॉज ही वॉज अवेयर के दोनों की बननी रही बनती नहीं है सो वी डिड दैट होल्ड सॉन्ग दैट वे देर आफ्टर वी डिड वॉन्ट गेस्ट पेरेंट्स इन जस्ट चोपड़ा फिल्म जान That day or what, that scene and that scene was what I'm giving advice to Katrina and Sharukh. Look at us and yeah, look at us. We're not talking about anything. 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 we do one thing which is very wrong is that we brush the skeletons under the carpet mm. we don't discuss our problems mm. we just let it linger so perhaps uh, i don't know i don't know what what goes on uh, i i i give a lot of grief at times she gives me a lot of grief at times so it's a uh, 
what, what give and take things. I don't know. I don't know what happens. You also said in the book that you've her, never let her down in your marriage, that you never strayed in all these years. In her chapter, talking about you, she says, there must have been trespasses, fleeting distractions. Um, she got to know, that is the most amusing bit, she got to know about this because when you were drunk, you used to kind of talk she's about... She's a liar. She's not saying the right thing. <laughs> I've never confessed. My, I've never done anything wrong. No, she's not the attraction. No, no, no. But, 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 come right, on. Yeah. You say these things when you meet an attractive girl or you meet, meet somebody, you know, who has this thing. You know, it happens with everybody. Right. You, know, you say it yourself and I say it myself. It's nothing that, you know, I've shared a secret or shared a, I was hiding something from you. I, I, because she can bully me on that because when I'm drinking, then I, I perhaps some, might forget. And then she said, you said that to me. And I said, no, I didn't. She said, you don't remember that. Then I said to myself, maybe I've forgotten. You know, I don't know if you must have said it. Has your appreciation for people around you, your family, your wife, your children, grown since you wrote this book? Did it give you a chance to really think of the sacrifices they've made, the patience they've put up with. Do you feel like this book, in a sense, bring you closer to the people that mean a lot to you? Was it eye-opening? Did it leave, lead to some discovery? See, it wasn't written with that point of view. Of course. Uh, I got to know a little more of how, how, what Ranbir feels about yeah. my relationship with him. Mm. I know what I have done and what I have been through. Uh, Ridima and myself have, you know, we've grown even fond of each other just when she got married. Now yeah. she lives in Delhi. Yeah. And like they say, fathers and daughters. Yeah. And um, I, uh, yes, I miss my granddaughter. She's very close to me. Mm. But uh, I don't think I, I had this in mind that I, I, I'm writing this book to, uh, you know, uh, create a, a better relationship with my family. I'm quite happy the way it is. It's not anything that I, except that I think I need to work a little harder on my association with my son. Talk about that. You, you know, in fact, Neetu says it too, and you say it as well. That um, it, your relationship with Ranbir almost mirrors the relationship you had with your father, Raj Kapoor. Um, Ranbir says that he would like to be a different kind of parent. In the book, he says that he says that he would like to have a, a slightly more closer relationship uh, to his son. Is that one of life's big regrets? See, as I say, when the uh, in the impressionable years of the of Ranbir, when he was uh, young. I was mostly busy and I was always out of town or not in town and obviously my children were more close to the mother. Right. At the very onset we had decided that who's going to be the homemaker and who's going to be the breadwinner. Mm. So obviously I was the breadwinner, I had to be working. Mm. And this is the same case that happened with me when my, with my father. I think uh, when you are an overcommitted, over busy actor, you tend to be a little away from the family. Yeah. And that is one kind of a sacrifice. Uh, any actor's family has to give. Mm. Uh, perhaps not now because Ranbir now works in times where he has got one film at a time. Correct. We used to work in several films, so right. we used to do double shifts. Mm. So that actually kept us away. I hope Ranbir is right. I hope Ranbir uh, lives his life the way he would like to with his kids. But I was somewhere conditioned in my mind. I was, uh, I was, I always wanted to have a relationship with my son. Of course, I do love him. Of course. I do love him. Uh, greatly, I have no, that no, comes no doubts through. over that. That comes through, yeah. But th the very fact that I cannot be a, a friend mm. to a son, I can't be, you know, slapping him on his back and saying, kya hai, tell me uh, what's happening to the chicks and what are you doing? Some kind of, uh, you know, distance is maintained. Right. He's my father, I'm his son. You know, that uh, I feel that. Sure. Right? I, my father knew I used to drink. I used to drink with him. I smoked, but never, I never smoked in front of him. Mm. These are small things, but automatically, you know, I never used to call him Papa, Daddy, Mummy, Papa. I used to call him Saab. Saab. That's right. So it was all after a revere, out of, I, I, in respect to that man. Mm. I don't expect me to do that, but you know, I feel that I'm your father and you're my son. Right. Chintaji, do you feel like your son Ranbir is working in a much more high pressure environment? Do you feel like, um, you know, the focus on the personal life, the romantic relationships, just how easily actors are dismissed with one failure. In your times, if one film failed, an actor wasn't written off because also you were making, like you said, five films at a time. Um, it's much more brutal today. Do you, do you feel like... Yes. Uh, and I feel in one way it's good also. You know, everybody's alert. And I feel uh, the actors today are much more confident than what, what we were at that time. Mm. I don't know, I don't know what, what's, the, what's the trick. Perhaps there's so much exposure via internet, television, world cinema, you know, you see so much. 
you experience so much earlier actors used to learn just to imbibe by trial and error right on those basis aaj to sab seekh hi jate they know exactly what emotion is to be how you portray that emotion because you've seen so many of those drama plays and all those things correct so in a way they are prepared they are very conscious body conscious mm. they like to uh, you know keep their body fit which we never did in our times uh, it's good to be uh, conscious of that and now film making is become very competitive mm. you know um, we we've got a market which never we never had that and it's is growing 15% every you know quarter we are, right. our market is growing so we are catering to a huge market which needs your total uh, attention mm. and why rajiv even the remuneration today is it's gone up considerably it's, it's, you know ridiculous we need to do three four films at a time because we didn't know which film will complete right. or which will not today is there for an actor there's so many other revenue streams true you know you 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 are an actor you got brand you got, endorsements. Uh, endorsements you got what not you know true. how this it was never our time mm. so you don't need to work more you need to be alert you need to be focused on one kind of a film which you're doing and um, I think that is a very precious, uh, precious situation right. for an actor. So in a way, I felt like it is good. You know, the output, the is churning out is better. I wouldn't mind that, and um, I've been through a, uh, that with because of certain actors in a yeah. situation like this. So I don't think there's anything wrong. Your say it like it is attitude has got you into some trouble, hasn't it? Especially on Twitter with online trolls, whether it was. um you know when you tweeted condemning the beef ban whether it was uh, criticizing the fact that even today there are so many roads and monuments that that are named after the gandhi family your criticism of prohibition in some states i know that your family asks you to keep your opinion to yourself uh, they tell you that it, it it just invites trouble have you ever feared the repercussions of sharing your opinion have you ever felt a genuine fear see whatever i've done i've never done it because of fear or favor sure people have, see they have an agenda that's why i'm doing this with the ruling government correct if that is so the case that why am i talking about that big man right. what Beep am man. i saying prohibition in the areas mm. and i have nothing against the uh, gandhi family i've got great respects for them mm. they have been so many prime ministers from the family i have nothing against them yeah i have the the the, the very fact that naming national assets just after one family i don't think it's a good idea mm. are there not very many other eminent citizens in the country of certain cities who have contributed in making uh, india mm. it should be named after them as well True. as what is in anywhere in the world mm. and uh, 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 there was nothing wrong there when i when i committed this of course it was blown out of proportion they made it guy i'm against congress i'm against the gandhi family why should i be anything in gandhi family they have nothing done i have got great respects for them mm. but their contribution to our nation also is huge mm. but the very fact that you cannot name 64 places are named in delhi only after that family correct you put up a tweet with yes please yeah. kindly explain what explanation do you have for that mm. you know i i shouldn't be saying it there are the whole family tree has got names in certain places yeah. so it doesn't look really very correct and that should be corrected i feel and i personally feel also one more thing rajiv that we should in, uh, in uh, constitutionally i do not know how it works but yeah. we should change it that you cannot have any national asset name by any politician mm. because once the party changes they then they want their names to be driven correct so let it not be named after any politician mm. name name it after someone who has served the country in a huge manner fair enough these opinions you get trolled for on twitter um, there are there are naturally So what, yeah? Right. I jump in the eye of the storm and take them by the bloody horns. I've seen yeah. you do that. I'm willing to do that even now. They did this with my my niece when um, she gave birth to correct with her boy. Karina and Seb's yeah. baby. It's okay. I mean, everyone has a uh, right to his opinion. Yeah. But then I argue it out. Mm. What is your problem? Yeah. What do I name? I may name my my kid Cadbury chocolate. Yeah. Correct. Who are you to tell me no name? Not name this. True. You mind your bloody business, yeah. Have you ever feared genuinely? for your life professionally in your career have you ever felt i, I mean i read about the time in in um, kashmir when you all were shooting kabhi kabhi mm, when yeah, there was yeah. that incident where yeah, that was, you see that was a very serious uh, uh, thing yeah tell us you know what that incident was the actual uh, you know the first news that the these times are coming in we were shooting for kabhi kabhi that song mere phoolo jaisa rang hua and yes you did not want to have any junior artists so we had uh, 
asked you know boys from girls girls and boys from delhi colleges mm. asking permission from their parents and he took them for a holiday to kashmir so they could be the natural my you know art looking age right. group junior artists so he had the responsibility of all those children plus we artists and it, it so happened that during the shoot was my birthday mm. so yashji threw a party for me in the night mm. at the pehalgam uh, hotel owned by sardar narendra singh and uh, the hotel is such it's situated just on the banks of a river that flows and has huge gardens which then they had put up pandal pandals and they had some musicians in florin uh, got from kashmir and kashmiri khana and everything and about 100 odd people all the junior, all the boys girls youngsters having a good time correct it so happened that where the cars were parked but even the poor hatho hatho boys correct. you know the people who are pony they call hathos hand carts right. uh, not the pony guys and the people who help you out with the luggage and everything right so poor people they were sitting there also i am to believe that there was a skirmish between the taxi drivers and one of the hathos at which got out of hand and and somebody hit somebody in whatever in minutes we had hundreds of these workers hathos thinking that the film people had done something to hathos mm. so hell broke loose mm. they started stoning us they started throwing those uh, bottle of uh, those uh, uh, flame throws into this they had, they had the pandal burnt yash chopra had the responsibility of the young children I had to take over, you know, the same and Neetu and Neetu's mother and everybody into the one. We were all hiding under our beds. There was no, you know, we were overlooking um, the banks of the river. There were obviously all the glass, glass vein panes. All the glass panes were shattered. Only stone. There were people. We were trying to get the, or the whole unit out of uh, Pahalgam. We never had mobiles those days, so we lightning call were booked. And then, fortunately, the then uh, the chief minister. uh i'm forgetting his name right now uh, from uh, the chief minister sent a convoy of mm. military and they took us out from there now that was a real near, near miss it was gotten a lot of out of control but it so happened it happened then and this is what 1974 year 75 uh-huh. the kashmir problem started in 88 of course these are the things which were happening earlier earlier but these were signs that this kind of thing is going to happen Obviously. it actually took a shape of you know Kashmir and Indians, mm. Muslims and Hindus. You know that kind of it gave people gave that kind of a flavor. flavor. There was nothing to it. Right. Then Sheikh Saab, Sheikh Abdullah was the chief minister. Chief minister. Then he reprimanded them. He says, "Do you know you get so much of work, so much of tourism because of film companies? Right. They come here, they spend so much of money. They give you so, they give you a, a job mm. to do, and and uh, they, all winter you're not going to have a job. And this is what you do. And you you take um, such a um, you had such a bad thing with them." so they apologized but then things did get out of hand and sure. these were the signs which were actual times to come which really right. said that then you've also written about the times that you met with daud ibrahim yes. um in dubai first over tea in 1988 and then a year later while you were shopping for shoes uh, and he offered to pick up the tab for the shoes that you bought how do you refuse a don because you obviously did i didn't treat him as a don i didn't go to see him because he was a don uh he called me as he called me as a fan of mine when he gave me the when he spoke to me on the phone and he said that i would like to meet with you i said okay what do i say when just somebody just wants to meet me and i'm free and he sent me his car and i went to his house and sat down with him i was perhaps a little hyper uh, like you know i wonder why he wants to meet with me that came into my mind but then at that that point of time Raj, uh, rajiv don't forget that he was a criminal mm. he was at large but he had not done what he had done the last thing happened then. right the 92 so uh, we meet so many there are so many people who are cases against them in our real life in real society they are moving in and i know so many criminals who are even politicians and all that right. it's not that we don't meet with them let let law take its own course mm. justice will prevail will done i told him also that why don't you come and get yourself uh, yourself justice he says no i have got people who are very against me at the same time he said there are a lot of politicians who are my payroll also mm. he said that but that could be you know trying to show off or do i do not know what but nevertheless that was not my agenda he he said he was very fond of the fact that i acted in a film called tawaif in which uh, i played his name namesake called out right so he said to me that you no know, you made my name proud and you know said i'm very happy that you know you, you you people know that doubt does good work also not only bad work so we laughed it off and then right. over a cup of tea talking about film this that great respect for my father my whole family as a matter of fact 
uh, Yusuf uncle and Mahmud Sa. He sent someone Mokri. when your father yes, passed away. Yes, when my father someone. passed away, he sent a man illegally. That's what he told me. Mm. That he sends his condolences for condolences for my father to both my elder brother and myself. And this was about six thirty in the morning. Mm. And he came illegally. He went to illegally. So listen, that's your take on the law yourself. Mm. But I, I just happened to meet him. It's like, and why not, Rajiv? Now he's thinking in hindsight. It helped me so much in D Day. Sure. When I worked in D Day, when I worked in that film. Mm. I could I could nuance him at certain places. I mm. could see the how he he walks, how he talks. So help me. So uh, uh, an actor actually uh, he actually captures these and puts it in his bank, in his brain bank, mm. and then he uses it at times when he has to. So that it even helped me as an actor there. Right. So that's it. I don't know why people make so much of an issue. I met him as any other man. You've written about how close the Kapoors were as a family and continue to be. Uh, there are these beautiful instances of you know of, of your connection with your uncle Shami Kapoor, you recount going to Shikar uh, with Shami Kapoor, you, you, you talk about going to Christmas dinner each year uh, at uh, Shashi Kapoor's home and your aunt Jennifer Kandal preparing the big uh, And that Christmas tradition spread. continues even today. Right. Till today it continues with Kunal, uh, Shashi uncle, always you know, uh, making the best turkey. Mm. Turkey lunch. Now of course we do lunch. We don't have dinners, but we do it all together, and the whole family is in attendance. You know, that's what I want to ask you about. Is it hard, just you know, staying tight as unit in today's times when everyone has their own lives? Do you all have to work towards kind of maintaining that relationship? I don't and just think you do it deliberately. It sure. just comes out as a natural mm. emotion. It's a very natural flair. We are one. We we want to be one. We have lost members of the family, which is disheartening. And we've always been told, you know, Shami uncle used to say that we are the hands of you know, an elephant never moves alone, he moves with the whole together and shoulder to you know, right, in, you know right. pack. We are huge in our size, we are, our habits, but the one thing very good the Kapoor had, they were, they were very solid workers. Mm. Solid men, they knew their job, they didn't rely on others. So, I guess these are the peripheral uh, benefits we're talking about. You write also about the great friendship between the actors of the 60s and 70s, Raj Kapoor, Dilip Kumar, Devanand, who were professionally rivals, but uh, who were great friends and had great affection for each other. You know, I have to say one of my most beautiful, I, I think one of the most beautiful things and the, the most deeply affecting portion in this book was your memory of watching Dilip Kumar at what turned out to be your father's deathbed, uh, watching him while he was unwell. That's very heart-wrenching. Yes. It really is this beautiful moment where Dilip Kumar is talking to him and telling him, wake up, I brought these kebabs. You know, this is what I want to show. You know, mm. book you read, but this is why I want to do this show and enact the emotion, what was happening. I had tears in my eyes and I couldn't hold it back when Yusuf uncle was talking to a man who was in, in, uh, in an air machine, what do you call that? Ventilator. That's right. And he's just lying in front of you, who's just such a good friend. And that moment is so poignant because he is himself, he, I, I can't see, he's, his back is towards me. I don't know if he had tears or what, mm. I don't know. And he thought he's sitting alone with uh, my father. Mm. So this has to be told in person to understand, but it's there in the book. I've said these, these are those moments which have to be lived, actually. It was, it's a sad thing, but this does get you a lump in your throat when I narrate this incident. Do you feel like that kind of friendship still exists between actors, between leading men of our time? It can. Why, why can't it? Do you see it? Uh, in my times, yes, I was very friendly with all my colleagues. Mm. Uh, I'm sure they're also friends now. See, it's how... How do I say? See, they were deeply connected to their roots, you know. Dilip Kumar, Raj Kapoor, they all came from a certain part of the world and made their name in a certain part of the world. They knew each other, mm. football playing days and the works. Dilip Sa's father was a fruit seller. And my great grandfather, and they used to see him in the same uh, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. This is not in the book, but I'm just remembering. Uh -huh. And he used to always uh, uh, admonish my great grandfather, saying, "Kya actor bana raha hai tu? What is the right word? I can't remember the word. Uh, there's a typical, you know, Urdu Peshawari word or whatever. I don't know. Uh -huh. That you know, what is bhand bana hua? You know, actor ah. kya hai wo? And then what happens is that his own son, Dilip Kumar, goes and becomes an actor. actor. I don't remember these stories because Yusuf uncle has told us this story. Dadaji just told us, my, my father told us all, okay, when they were young, he was, he was a very, you know, uh, flourishing businessman. Yeah. But, his deal, but he was dealing in fruits, mm. dry fruits and fruits. That is Mr. Dilip Kumar's father. father. So, you know, when you go, come from that, it stays with you. Right. 
if I have had a friend who has been with me since childhood, I would behave the same way with my colleague. But here we meet in our, you know, midlife, and we make a new friendship, a relationship, or could be a, uh, you know, however you call a relationship. Mm. I don't know if that can, it should exist if it can, if it came from those days. But it was with my my father and, and Dilip Sahab. And it's evident from the book that you can be completely objective about your own work and also Ranbir's work. I have to ask, Ranbir Kapoor at 34, Rishi Kapoor when he was 34, who was the better actor? I feel Ranbir because he's, his, his projects are much better, his, uh, his uh, subjects are much better. For me, what was I only singing songs, I said, yeah. I was only, I was just... I was doing nothing in films that you know would get something for me. No, anyway, but by thirty-four you had done. No, what thirty-four? I, I probably have done a yeah, Prem Rok, and I think Prem Rok was not bad as no, it was very good. Yeah, you know, Sagar. These are films in between, but now I have a better, challenging time now as an actor True. to play and display my ways. Yeah, I'm like a salesman, you know. I should show that I can do comedy, I can do villainy, I can do emotional part, I can do an old man, I can do this, that. So I must show my ways to you. You yeah. choose what you want, and I'll give it to you. How hard is it today finding good roles? <laughs> you touched on a sore point. <laughs> it's not the question of finding. It's the question of how you hear. Right. You, they approach you. Mm. Unfortunately, writers don't write good enough parts for my age. Mm. I'm talking about my point of view. Yeah. I'm not a hero of any film. And I don't even take a film where I'm the main protagonist. Fearing that the film will not be made or if mm. the audience would not come and see me. Because I'm not a, I'm not a selling point in a film. Mm. I may bring something on the table as an actor, for mm. sure, but I cannot get you the audience into the theatre on my name. I know that for a fact and I don't want to be fooled by anybody. Correct. There's, there's uh, obviously I a lack of pretense and lack of Nate, delusion. I get a lot of film offers where I, the film is on, bent on, on my shoulders. Yeah. And I say You did no. one, Chintuji, which was lovely. See, see that is why I don't also, do it. But also that was a great character part. I had part, a lot yeah. of problems in Chintuji in mm. releasing that film and the film on completion. Yeah. We had real problems in Doduni Char also. So I don't want to get into a situation. I want a bankable star and mm. I want a studio supporting it. Then only the film is going to be made. Otherwise, I'm living in a fool's paradise thinking that the film is going to be made when I'm the main you know, protagonist of the film. And don't do that. A film has to have some balance, has to have something attractive for the youth to come and see the film. Correct. I'm not living in a fool's paradise. I know exactly what my priorities are and how mm. I'm going to work and prioritize my work. What I missed, I have to say, was... Why is there no explanation for why you all have names like, or pet names like Chintu, Dabbu, Chintu? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something you why. forgot? <laughs> no, I said, grrr, I hate the bloody fact. <laughs> you know, Ramesh Sipi ka kissa hai. Uh -huh. We were shooting and uh, lighting was going on Sagar. And uh, there was myself, Kamal Hassan, Dimple, Ramesh ji was sitting in all. Ramesh ji, one the assistant came and told Ramesh ji that the shot is ready. So he said, oh, Kamal ji ko bolo shot ready hai. Or Chintu ki bolo shot ready hai. I heard that, are I said, yeah, you said to Kamal Ji and Chintu. He said, I didn't say Ji. He said, 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 you know, respect is not like that. I said, look, I'm Kamal Sikh, I'm a senior actor in Kamal Sikh, I'm a senior actor in Hindi. I said, you call me Ji, I'll call you your name. Just laughing at you. Correct, correct. So this is what a damn pet name does. You're stuck with because of Chintu. My kids don't have any pet name. But Dabbu, Chimpu, Kungu, Pingu, Tingu, Lingu, Banchu, there's no name. How do they come to, how do they come to exist? I don't know why parents name does. <laughs> the, the very fact that Dabbu is, um, when he was younger, Dabbu is older to me by five years. Mm. And in school he used to learn this poetry called, uh, or, or limerick called Chote Se Chintu Miya, Lambi Se Poonch, Jaa Jaae Chintu Miya, Vaha Jaae Poonch. It was uh, Sui Dhaga. Right. So Sui. So I have named me Chintu, Dabbu. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, give me a break. You can't have these names here. <laughs> I, had a, I had a friend I know. He was born on 15th of August and his name was Jandu. It was from Janda Devas. <laughs> How can you name someone Jandu? <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the, it's funny, you know, at, at 62, you're uh, 61, 62, you're, you're I'm like. I'm going to be 65 this 65, year. 65, wow, September. wow. At, at, at 65, you're still Chintu. There has to be some pleasure in that, right? I don't mind. We're just joking. Of course, of course. What the hell I love for? Whatever I am today. Chintu ne bhi aaj koi kam to kiya hoga na? Absolutely. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Absolutely. But you know, I don't think it. I don't think they should be given pet names when they have a respectable name. Correct. I mean, what's wrong in Rishi Kapoor? Right. You make him Chintu. I have to say, thoroughly enjoyed reading the book. It it really is. 
it's a beautiful passion project, full of love, full of affection, um, great nostalgia, such a beautiful read, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you so much, looking forward to Thank lots you. more. Hopefully an update in a few years. Well, hopefully, I've I, I tell you, I've started even thinking more. Correct. Maybe. And there'll be more work also to add to it. There'll be more performances. God willing, God willing. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>